person that my mother died exactly a year after my dad. Wow. Um, so when I started moving in authority, I really wanted to, to do that as a tribute to her and all of the wonderful things that she instilled in me to, to really encourage me to be the greatest person I could be, to be the greatest woman I could be, to be a person of integrity, a person of faith, a person of compassion and a person that cared about other people. So no matter what I do, I, I really love people. I love the people of God and I strive to do things that are helping and encouraging someone else because all of us are influencers. It doesn't matter what your title is, what your position is, how much money you have in the bank, whatever you're doing, you are making a difference in somebody's life and you're influencing someone because you know what? Someone is watching you. Even right now, someone is watching us to see us here on this camera talking and they're looking at us and they're saying, wow, look at those two ladies looking professional and having this wonderful conversation online where Thank several you. hundreds of people, thousands of people, I'm speaking it to existence, are watching and seeing how they are uh, having a conversation and sharing an intellectual moment with each other. So I wanted Moving in Authority to be an opportunity to help other women and particularly to know that they have a voice. A lot right. of women wear a lot of hats. Women, you know, we do a lot of things, but oftentimes we don't get recognized for the things we do behind the scenes. And so I wanted Moving in Authority to be a platform for women of all colors, all shapes, all sizes, all backgrounds to be able to come and know that they have a safe space just to be authentically them. And so right. it's out just like that, just just as a, a way for women to come together, um, being in the military, seeing women from all over the world, different cultures, different backgrounds. And then after transitioning out of the 